What is up everybody? In this video, me and my homie, Tertius Conscious, we're gonna be talking about the billest villain crash outs in Dragon Ball. We're only gonna go be going through Dragon Ball Z and Super, but first, he can say hi first. What up my hitters? It's your boy, the one and only Smooth Rider back again for another video. I'm joined by my fellow co-host, UDC. Hope you guys are doing well. That is my dog in the background doing her thing. So if you do hear a lot of noises, you know, this time it won't be your mom. It will be my dog. Chill out, chill out, Diddy. Chill out. Uh alright, so <laughs> first we're gonna be talking about Scouter Vegeta against Goku. That's the first crash out on the list. Um, also, let us know if we missed any in the comments, but first, it'll be Scouter Vegeta against Goku. Out of 10, what would you rate this crash out in general? Out of 10. Um, against Goku, like, when he, um... When he went Kaioken, I'm trying to think he of was what... like, Ah, ah, gone! Like, he was, like, tripping or whatever. He was tripping, but, I don't know, let's say it's, like, a level 4 or 5 crash out, because there's just so four much... 4 or 5? <laughs> He's low-balling like, Vegeta. He was... It was more, he was more just annoyed and irritated at all this stuff. Because Vegeta did, was dealing with a lot of bull, to be honest. Like, it wasn't just Yajirobe. Goku, he had the whole... Yeah, he was getting jumped, like, the entire time. Like, the nude kid that over one here. Inst... Yeah, like, that one instance is just not enough the full story of, like, what happened, like, on Earth during the same saga. So, I just, I just can't put that one up there on high, uh, especially because all the other context that's going on. Yeah, that's a fair take. That's a fair take. Um, after we can talk, so yeah, I'll agree. I'll give him like a five. And after is v also Vegeta on Namek when he thought he lost the Dragon Balls. I'm gonna give that one like oh, an eight. Yeah. I you know I don't know what you'd rate that. He said, "Oh yes." Uh, I'm gonna give that one an eight just because I've never seen anybody yell that hard, especially in the ocean dub. He goes crazy. Uh, I don't know what you would rate it. You have to be say eight. You have to say eight. I, no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm definitely saying eight. Like for sure. Like his eyes going literally white for no reason. Just yeah, like, he, he's tweaking. So, so pissed. I, I have no idea why he's that mad. I don't think it was that deep personally. Like, it's not a Dragon he Ball just, locator. Like <laughs> he's he was tripping so so bad for no reason. Like bro. But uh, he was definitely like. Yeah. He was definitely on one. After his uh, Frieza when Nail told him about the Earthlings, he's like, the Earthlings have the Dragon Balls. <laughs> and he was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think in a bridge, yeah. he was like, what? And he was like, <laughs> you know, the little, <laughs> the little Namekian kid? <laughs> he took the Dragon Ball and he gave it to the Earthlings. And he's like, I will fucking murder you. <laughs> and he left. I was like, yo, no way. That's got to be like an eight as well. He was tweaking. He's like, where are the Ginyus? Oh, they're dead. Why are they dead? Like, in Abridged, it yeah. was... It was funnier in Abridged. I think in the dub and Kai, it was pretty funny, too. But I think Abridged definitely sometimes outshines the, the actual show. Oh, yeah. No, they definitely highlighted, like, um, Frieza's more realistic reaction. Like, just him be like, why are they dead? Like, what's what's really going on? Um, I, I think it was a lot more silence in the original. Um, yeah. And he was, like, crashing out more internally. And uh, in a bridge, they kind of like was a lot more vocal. And I think, I, I think it was definitely crash out worthy. I definitely would say that's like a seven or eight. Oh yeah, he yeah, he, yeah. I'll we'll give him a seven. We'll give him like a nice seven. Crash uh, out experts over here, just so you know. Yeah, we we know about crash yeah, outs. Too. We know about crash outs. Uh, yeah. After is um, Vegeta getting his arm broken against eighteen, because which is also kind of semi. I I put it in the list. Because I thought, like, he's kind of a villain, but not really. But I just wanted to include it because he was tweaking when this happened. He was like, ah, 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 my, my arm. And forever after that moment, every time he's hurt, he will always just jump to holding his arm. Even if it has nothing to do with his arm, he'll just be like, ah, my arm. Like in Super, when he did the final explosion, it, ah, my arm is hurting for some reason. Even though it has nothing to do with this. He jumped. I yeah. think... That is that crash out is so impactful to him that he will still always jump to his his freaking arm just being hurt for some reason. I will give that one a nine, to me. I don't think that one deserves to be that high personally. I think that was more <laughs> going outside than crash out. 
I think going outside is is a different level of crashing out, but I still think uh, it's definitely more on going outside because he wasn't. See, the definition of crashing out is just having a reaction that does not care about said consequences and it's just filled with emotions of rage or just I don't give a f. And that was just more going outside. He was just he was just gone. <laughs> so you give him a seven? Nah, I, I would say like I would say, you could say six or seven. I don't six think is great. I can see six. I can kind of see six. He was, he was going way more outside. It was more going outside than you know, like down bad than, than crashing. Yeah, he he definitely was tweaking. I I I think it does have some big impactual thing with Vegeta just because of he'll always jump to his arm all the time he'll always just be like ah my arm i think that's kind of in the back of his mind almost that's what i think that's my theory but yeah i'll, I'll say seven or six as well um next is cell when he was looking for 18 uh when he was like 18 where are you and uh <laughs> she was hiding on an island with 16 or whatever and i'm like oh my gosh that uh that that crash out i'd say is like a five it's like a five you could maybe bump it up a little because he was blowing up the islands, which, you know. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was definitely tweaking, but. He clearly didn't care at that point. He was like, you know, I don't even care. You're not here. I'm gone. And I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> he doesn't even care anymore. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I didn't care. Uh, we, really cool to Vegeta. Yeah, uh, I'd say that's like a seven to me. It was seven way too nice on these raids. There's just so much later on this list that it's just worse. Seven? Crash he, uh, okay, crash to be like, fair, everybody is tweaking in the show all the time. You know, Frieza's tweaking like when he's winning still. He's like, that actually hurt. That actually hurt. He's, he's tweaking like, why is he tweaking like that? You know, like, I think Cell is a seven to me. I don't know what you give him, like a five or four. You like to lowball these six. guys. <laughs> <laughs> six sounds like weird but like i don't know seven just sounds like high for what's so what like you give him a five peak, right yeah ten is peak realistically nothing on this list so far outside of like vegeta and frieza on namek should be should should be above a five realistically there's just so much that's just wow worse <laughs> on this list in my opinion personally wow know, maybe i'm just the Maybe I just have to die on that hill, but that's just me, bro. I'm just saying. Just, okay, you know. okay. So I'm, I've seen, I've seen true crash outs in this world, in this lifetime, and I think human power that, will fall as it has again, right? <laughs> like literally the monster, theater bro. kid. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we could do like a six, five, maybe. I guess after his uh, cell against Team Gohan. Like, perfect so when he went buff and he was like, Ah, oh, you little shit. You know, like, he was tweaking. Well, what would you say that is? This is a W crash out because there's context to it. It's the whole fact that, like, everybody was fucking themselves over except, like, Trunks and Tien, who were, like, actually <laughs> doing their job. You know, Vegeta, Goku, Cell, and then Gohan. And the fact that Cell still came out as the loser, even though, like, he could have won in so many scenarios. Like, after getting this, no, after he got his perfect form, after he got the sensu bean after uh like trunks came back and the fact that he's just like all, all that context within him just like this damn little ass teenager is being my i'm about to blow up the fuck out of earth and i think that is with him doing that right after was him go him, him going outside but it was like he didn't care at that point he was not going down alone and that's i think that is eight or nine worthy of crash out for sure Eight. Be, but I think that's... I'd say that's a nine too. He he's tweaking when he talks like with Go on order. He's like, ah, oh, he, he he goes into a form that he knows is going to be useless. That that's a different level of crash out when you care. don't even yeah, care. You don't even yeah. care anymore. Yeah. But I'd say that's a nine to me because he's genuinely tweaking. Um, after is Boo yelling about chocolate in the time chamber or whatever, uh, where he was like, no chocolate. <laughs> this was stupid as hell because it's like this is supposed to be the main villain but like oh, in I terms of like funny. i thought it was cool in, in terms of just crashing out like yeah boo boo was tweaking it all the damn time bro like literally like all of his forms 
are usually caused by tweaking. You like, didn't you wait you didn't like uh move. you didn't like him tweaking? I didn't say I like it, I'm just saying like uh, <laughs> oh. I thought hey, it was oh. a stupid crash out. <laughs> it wasn't a valid crash out, but it was still a crash out, you know what I mean? You can say like in terms of like how bad the crash out was, because like he literally like burnt a hole through reality. Yeah, he's he's because tweaking. No he's chocolate. he's like, truly that is level tweaking. ten. But, but in terms of like what that like makes no sense, like yeah, it's stupid stuff, but like Nah, like you literally just like burnt it because Piccolo destroyed the door. He's like, Yeah, even if you yeah. kill us, and then he's like, yeah. just You're never getting out of here. <laughs> he thought no he pulled a fast one, yeah, he did. He's like, No more chocolate in there. Like, I'd say that crash out to me is like a seven just because, like, he's doing something, yeah, like the, his reason behind it is like, Bro, what chocolate, but. At the same time, he's making a new dement, like a hole through a dimension from it. He he's clearly lost his mind after he hears nice. the notion of no chocolate. So I'd say I'd give him like a seven or eight, probably for me. After is a uh, Buhan and Vegito when they fought. When Buhan was like, uh, 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 and Vegito was like basically <laughs> like basically just stunned on him the entire time. Uh, yeah, Bu Bu had a valid crash out. With this because Vegito was just making just like, he was messing with him psychologically, physically, emotionally, everything. Like, he, yeah, yeah, he did him actually dirty. I'd say valid, it's like a crash out because he truly six. tried everything he could do. He he literally resorted to absorbing Vegito and that still didn't. I'd say this is like a six, like, it's like a six. Wow, six or seven, yeah, probably then. I think, uh, I think it's still, yeah, Buhan is like when he's crashing out, he's definitely tweaking. Especially when he puts like the chocolate in his mouth and he's like, oh, 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 like he's like, he has, he turns him into a piece of candy and he puts it in his mouth and he starts tweaking because Vegito's moving around. He's like, oh, 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 <laughs> like, it all in his mouth. No, di no Diddy, but like he's, he's got Vegito in his mouth and he's still, he's still tweaking. <laughs> he's still tweaking. I'd say this is like. But I still think he kind of keeps his head compared to, like, the other boos, at least. Uh, which, I didn't mention Fat Boo on this list. Uh, if you have an, any Fat Boo crash outs, you can let me know, but... I don't remember any off the top of my head. At least in this arc, because he does have one on the list later. Oh, and, oh, and, uh, remember when the dog got shot? Oh, yeah, the, the freaking That's bounty hunt. Really evil, evil boo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like a that's like a seven. That's like a seven to me. I'd yeah. say too. This one is a seven valid as well. Crash out, yeah. yeah, these are valid. And after both of these is Kid Boo, where uh, just him as a character in general. That's what I wrote on the list. It just says Kid Boo yeah. is a walking crash out. Like right. if you look at the list, that's just what it says. He's just we're, a we're crash. Bar. He just crash out. Just like walking around. Him as a character is just a crash out, truly. Which no rhyme or reason just yeah just he he's always destruction. yeah like he's always tweaking he's always crashing out so him as a character is like a 10 out of 10 crash out because there's no reasoning or nothing with him he's lost his mind he doesn't care about anything not even his own body he will blow something up even if it hurts himself just to regenerate he he doesn't care Yikes. he's like a 10 and then after uh that is we'll get into super where Beerus and the Pudding is the first uh, crash out in Super, I would say. So, what do you think about that one? I feel like th those are t the one of the crash outs where like niggas would be like, "It's the principle, it's the principle, it's bigger than the food." Like, <laughs> so, no like, more pudding. Because I've facts like I've seen shit like that where it's like it's not about a folk pudding, it's about like so like I could see something like that happening, but like it is stupid. Like this like literal god is like tweaking because he doesn't have, like. He, he doesn't get his pudding, man. He needs his pudding. <laughs> That's a valid crash out, man. And in Xenoverse, they gave him the bad pudding. They gave him the bad pudding. <laughs> like, sending my secret weapon. And it's her dirty ass pudding. And he's like, oh, this is, this is the worst thing I've heard. And Goku's over here like, oh, I hurt my stomach. I can't fight because my tummy hurts. And I'm like, what? Come on, man. No. Come on now. I think the Beerus Pudding incident is, uh, he was going to destroy the planet with all the good food that he's already tried. Let's say that's like an 8 crash out. He goes crazy after it. 
say eight. Eight, so definitely. Definitely. The man is going large. to blow up a planet with no, no, the, some of the yeah, best food good. that he's ever good. tried in his life. You know, I'd say that's an eight. No more pudding. Pudding all for boo. Like, dude, get out. Like, <laughs> yo, not even the bingo dance would save that. Not even the bin bingo dance could have saved that. He's over here giving go tanks a spanking and slapping Bulma like it's nothing. He's like, get out of here, bitch. Like, get, get going. Get going. <laughs> he's like, you ruined my 38th birthday party. And he's like, oh. The crazy thing is everybody's so happy when she says like, oh, so that's how old she is. And then he's, oh, he slaps her ass right after. <laughs> I'm like, what? Why are you guys being happy right now? He's going to kill you guys. Like, And then they have that goofy rock paper scissors shoot and he's like uh, i can hear you like just so dumb that's like an eight to me i would say that's an eight what would you say yeah is it an eight uh, i'd say his eight eight is uh fair given like what he was trying to do afterwards um but once again i crash outs usually aren't logical so it, it makes sense but it's just stupid as fuck like yeah it's so dumb then is a uh, frieza yelling while golden against blue goku and when he uh blew up the planet that's a 10 to this me. is a, it's a 10 yeah it's a, yeah it's a level 10 it's a level 10 crash yeah well, really came back cocky but still got body and he, he literally didn't even care what happened to his own body at that point that's peak crash there's no out. way he was gonna be okay after that like he just he would he would literally just be floating in space like yeah. in pieces again and then after his uh, Rose having the calm crash out after using his anger, I put this in as just like a out there crash out where he's like, I can use my white hot rage against you mortals. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is stupid. <laughs> I'd say this is like a four, so three. Yes. <laughs> barely a crash out. And then the Fusamasu yelling and becoming corrupted. Uh, what do you say that? That's like a yeah, 9 or 10 to me. Um, yeah, 9 or 10 easy. Because there's, there's just easy. a lot of built up with Zamasu changing. I, I didn't really made a video on this head ass, like, but Zamasu just. just Goku! He's <laughs> like yelling. He was, he was tweaking. Like, because he, he, he really cries. started off just like this calm god who was just curious about the world. And now he's over oh, here. Brother, just, don't, like, don't start defending him again. Mind. Don't don't start defending this man. He's he starts crying at a point. Wrong. We never see like a villain like Deadass just start crying. Yes, and beautifully so. For the just, world. Just, <laughs> just crazy he's that he's right, crying. He's right like, right he's um, right. Then we'll get into tournament of power crash outs. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comments if I missed any big ones. But first we'll go over Kale going berserk against Goku. It's like a seven. Yeah, this one was known as fuck. This is oh, I know. He he doesn't like Kale, he guys. He doesn't like Kale. Like <laughs> Malate, yeah. not even crazy take. He doesn't like Kale. That's not ridiculous to say that. That's not ridiculous to say that. Like, I don't think she's like the worst character, but I think this crash out's fine. I'd say it's like a six, seven, maybe. I'd say six, actually. Stupid crash out made no sense. She, she got body anymore. And then as a Topo against Frieza. <laughs> Where uh, he's like grabbing wow. his head, he's like, Ugh. like, <laughs> like <laughs> he's like, uh, 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 like freezes over here tweaking. Like, <laughs> this is like a seven or eight, no nine, because he's abandoning his morale. It's like Topo's yeah. a sign for justice, and he's he like, yeah, he was he was, he was he was ready to kill people after that. He was just throwing a oh, yeah, like, kai everywhere. Yeah, he didn't care. <laughs> he he truly was just like, I don't give a fuck no more. Uh, Thanks. this is like a nine, nine. Yeah, definitely W crash out. And then uh, is Kefla against Goku, where she starts tweaking when he goes uh, Ultra Instinct sign or only in the anime. And she's like, ah! This one's like, like a baby from Kefla. Yeah, it's just it like a, a four. It wasn't a five. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't a crazy crash out. Nah, yeah. And then is uh, Jiren against Goku. Where he's... That's it. <laughs> he Eight just... or nine. Eight. Oh. He's like, he's sitting here. Oh, oh, like with his mouth all open. <laughs> he's like, I'd say it's like a seven or eight. Eight or nine, easily, because if you think about how Jiren, his whole ideals is completely different from Goku when it came to the power of trust. And for Jiren to see this mortal out here trying to step into the realm of the gods, 
with this love power of trust where I've lived my entire life not trusting anybody who does he think he is man that's what <laughs> oh my god I guess that's true yeah and then uh finally yeah I'd say that one's an 8 or 9 and then finally is Jiren's crash out with freezing 17 where he truly gives up right before he starts tweaking again this is, this is goofy at hell Cause I think that, this is like, like a nine. Like, ah! This is he like... just sits there and smiles. He's just like... <laughs> this is like a nine. We're literally dude. locked in just... <laughs> he's like... He's like, just kill me already. Just get nice. it over with. Like, Jiren, you can't then, give up with your then, absolute power. Like... Nice. Then Tago starts just blazing over here. Yeah. Like, you're the best. <laughs> The, this the, I'd say this is like a nine or eight to me. I really like this crash out just because he he, cra he cause he's crashing out so bad that he got up and started throwing hands again. He gave up and then got back up. I was like, you know what? I don't care. That's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really cool crash out to me. I think it was pretty cool. I think Zamasu had the best crash out actually because so out of he all saw this. Out of all, he saw this pitiful world of all these mortals and humans. And they need to go. He came from above, from the clouds. <laughs> oh my gosh! Justice and beauty, and all blazing. that is great and divine. All that is divine. it brings a tear to my eyes. I would say all that is divine. I would say the best cra character, the most villain who has the best crash outs to me, is probably Frieza. Um, just because. Either him or Zamasu, definitely. But I give it to Frieza. Either, either or is a good take. I give it to Frieza just because we see more of him. He's crashing out yeah, over people, like, just giving a small fight, like, with the spirit bomb. And he's over here just tweaking. This man, like, is would destroy a planet with him on it as well. He would hurt himself just, just to get back at the other people, which is ultimate crash out to me. Just... Yeah, so we need to see Zamasu something like that. Just, yeah, yeah, Zamasu over here, like, just tweaking, too. Uh, I think he tweaks in a theater kid way, which is just like, oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> no, cool. Acts like, he, he, he just, oh, my God. Well, I think both of them give, I, I have to give it to Frieza. Just best villain crash outs. But that's going to be for this video, guys. Uh, closing statements. We will talk about the movies in OG Dragon Ball and GT, like I said earlier, if you guys really like this video. Uh, what is this guy doing? Um, yeah. Uh, any closing statements before we end the video? Remember, Zamasu did nothing. Okay. Ever, at all. Here we go. Here we go again, man. Here we go again. If he gets to defend Zamasu, I get to defend Perfect Sarah. Okay, that's only fair, cause he didn't do anything. He he was made for that purpose. Okay, Zamasu's choosing that. All right, he's a light skin. They said that Android free will be the end of all of us. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's gonna be for this video, guys. Hope you'll enjoy this one. If you like me doing videos with Conscious, we can. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll do plenty of videos together if you guys enjoyed this one. But that's gonna be for this video, guys. Just like he said. Peace. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>